Greetings folks, I'm just about to get started on the construction of the Resilience RES glider. Lars from Heinemann Fluke Model Bauer contacted me and asked if I'd like to try my hand at building one of these uh, beautiful looking two meter uh, RES, so it's rudder, elevator and spoiler, no ailerons. Uh, and here's the kit, comes all pre-cut looking very nice with all the bits and pieces required. Also comes with a very detailed instruction manual or build manual. Now I'm not usually a balsa builder uh, so this will be kind of new to me. I have built one balsa plane that went very nicely so uh, probably have enough to get started. We get this nice one-to-one -one build plan but apparently you don't need to use the plan you can just build it uh, on a nice flat surface. Here's a closer look at the kit. We've got spars, tail boom, uh, ply sheeting, ribs, uh, wing joiners, all of that sort of stuff, all the hardware for putting the wing on. Wingspan 1997 millimeters, almost two meters. Uh, length approximately 1180 millimeters. Wing area 34.21 decimeters squared. All up weight 420 grams, airfoil AG35 to AG38. And we have a partially sheeted wing box, that's the sort of the leading third of the wing, which makes it nice and tough and stiff. Two spoilers, carbon fibre tail boom, and removable cruciform tail. So it's a beautiful looking model. It's going to test my building skills and my covering skills, but uh, I'm up for the challenge. So I'm going to get on with it. I'll call in every now and then and uh, give updates, I guess, uh, add to this video. Uh, but for the moment, uh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so it's been about four or five days and uh, I'm well into the build. Uh, I've finished this centre section, but I thought I'd show some of the progress photos and show how the kit is going together. Uh, I decided to use the plans laid down on a big block of XPS foam so I can pin into it. Um, and apparently you can build without the plan, but... Uh, being a, a newbie at this sort of stuff, I thought I'd better stick with the plan. So here's the uh, ply trailing edge. Uh, everything is superbly cut, very accurate. Well labelled, Everyone, everything has little labels on it like this. Uh, some of the small parts are so small that they can't put the labels on, but there is a little uh, paper uh, index sort of thing that will in each little packet that you can find. Uh, all the part numbers and uh, there's a, a, part, a good parts list in the instruction manual as well. I would have liked more photos in the instruction manual I think that would just make it a lot easier but uh, if you carefully read what the plans say, what the instructions say and then check with the plans and the uh, instruction and the uh, parts list then you can sort out uh, what is what. This is showing the bottom uh, balsa sheeting with the pine spar cap they get glued together and uh, stuck together with sticky tape to start off with all the ribs uh, as i said everything is very very accurate and nicely labeled so easy to find out what you're doing so this is the very first task and that's gluing together the two center plywood ribs and the hard points for bolting the wing on and everything only fits one way so you can't make too many too many mistakes there there we are all laid down uh, and I like these groovy rib combs I think they're called to keep all the ribs vertical coming together very nicely so you just pin it out like that then drip in uh, thin CA glue into all the joints I am using CA glue and it is messing with my sinuses a bit uh, I need to get some uh, low solvent stuff uh, I'm going to try some of the foam safe stuff in a little while and when that arrives but uh, I'm having to you wear a, a mask and all that sort of stuff. Nice little tiny little details like this is a it's a, a it's a plywood reinforcing ring for the uh, twist prevention spar that goes through there. This is fixing on the top sheeting. This was actually a forehand job. I had to get my wife to help me with that. It's probably the the trickiest bit I've come across so far, uh, and that still went very well. So that was no drama. Now these are some insert, uh, sheer web inserts, uh, three of them on each side of the centre of the midsection and two on the outer couple of ribs of the midsection just for extra strength and they're all labelled. They are tapered so you need to get them around the right way 
and uh, the one on the outer end uh, has an angle on it as well. So uh, have to be aware of what you're doing there. But if it doesn't fit, basically, you've got it around the wrong way. Aluminium tube for the joining the midsection to the um, intermediate section. So here are the spoilers. I've never used spoilers before, so as I said, this took a little bit of working out. We basically pop some magnets in these little holes here, uh, and it gets hinged on this edge, and a servo just pushes up against the spoiler and pops it up and holds it up, and then the magnets uh, will pop it back down and into its casing when it's not being used. And the opposing magnets are glued under here on the opposite side. That took me a little bit of time to work out how to do that but here you can see this is the other side once you pop the spoiler into place with magnets in it then these magnets will just locate themselves and you just basically glue them into position a couple of little ballast boxes out of plywood uh, it can take uh, 130 grams of extra ballast i think it is a super lightweight model really designed for thermal floating around. I'll be using it on the slope, so I probably will need some ballast and any extra strength that I can build into it. Again, the lid is held on with magnets. I've actually got my lid upside down because these marks locate where some sort of ply, uh, some balsa panels go in there, but I could just easily work it out. Now for the leading edge, these uh, leading edges get glued on and we get these templates, uh, different shapes for about five different spots along the, uh, the wing uh, or the inner part of the wing. And you basically sand the leading edge until it conforms to that template. So it's the first time I've done this sort of thing, but uh, just uh, taking my time and uh, going slowly and making sure I'm checking the templates every now and then, then it all worked very nicely. And here's a look at the center section so far i have done a bit more work on the sur on the uh, spoilers i'll show you that after this little bit here but it's all looking pretty good i'm pretty happy with it threading the servo wires through i had to take those uh, connectors off so they would thread through and this is the servo setup for the spoilers the es9051 is one of the recommended servos for the spoilers i do have some really nice mks uh, what are they, HS70 servos that would do a really good job, but uh, they're way overkill for something as, as uh, on-off basic as a spoiler, so I'll save them for something else. So these little Emacs servos are going to do the job perfectly. Basically, the spoiler was hinged on this edge here, and the servo arm just pushes it up, uh, breaks the magnet attraction, and holds the spoiler up vertically. I was a bit concerned about the servo arm rubbing on the raw balsa here repeatedly to lift up the spoiler. So I've glued in a little bit of ID card plastic and, and printed up a, a wider uh, cover for the servo arm. And I think that'll be nice and strong and uh, smooth now. A little bit of ID card plastic, just CA glued on there. And there's the little print of the uh, servo arm just to make it a, a little bit wider there. There is a little bit of uh, plywood supplied in the kit which you would bolt onto the servo arm but I thought this was a, a better solution. So there we go that's the progress so far uh, and I'll, I'll put this video out now just to uh, give you an update of what's going on and I'll continue on building and uh, get back to you in another week or so when I've done intermediate panels and the wing tips and maybe got into the fuselage as well. I'm enjoying the build it's going very well indeed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.